Okay, we're going to do a quick review here of the Bulldog Supply Company collar. Bulldog Supply Company collar review. This collar right here is several years old. I'm going to guess maybe th three to four years old. I tie my dogs out on it every day. This is the extra large, largest uh, collar that they make. And I don't have game dogs. I have... Uh, American Bullies, the extra, extra large American Bullies. All three of them are about 100 pounds. And uh, this collar works great. I'm going to flip it over here for you so you can see the inside. Uh, once again, this collar is several years old, so it's uh, very dirty. You can see right here, um, they make this padding on the inside of the collar. And on the website, it, the white looks really pretty. I was thinking it was like a leather or something, but it's actually like this uh, cloth material here, and it gets dirty pretty quick. The do collar looked uh, real pretty when it was brand new, but uh, obviously the white got dirty real fast and uh, not so pretty anymore. If I had to do it again, I would uh, probably get the one with the black on the inside. Uh, next thing you're going to want to see, I'm going to have to put the phone down here for a second maybe. Uh, when you clamp this thing up, uh, hold on one second. Okay, so here the collar is in the locked position. I have mine on the uh, third loop, which fits my dog perfectly, and uh, it's got these little bracket things here to hold the collar in, but as you can see, it, it doesn't quite reach all the way to the second one. And uh, I haven't had a problem with it on this third one here, but if, you, if your dog is big and you need to use either this one or this one, the, uh, the collar is not secured very well here. So I would suggest that you get the largest size collar that you can for your dog so that it fits all the way through here. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like on this hole right here and uh, how it doesn't hold very secure. And I actually had my dog get loose once because of that. I don't have game dogs, so it wasn't much of an issue. But if you do have game dogs, that's definitely something you want to watch out for. Hold on one second. I'll go ahead and put it on here so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, and here we are. As you can see, if this is secured, it is, it's not in there very good, uh, and it can slip out, and I have seen it slip out. It's happened to my dog before. So once again, you wanna get your, uh, get the biggest one so you can have it fit down in there. Uh, next thing I'm gonna touch base on real quick with you guys while we're here, while I'm doing it, is your proper tie out method, okay? What I have used here is a uh, carabiner with a swivel with another carabiner. Now what I did is I put Loctite on here and cinched these things down really tight. Okay, so this is not going to come loose for nothing. The only, way the, if this, the only way the dog can be removed from the chain is if you remove the collar. So if the collar fits nice and tight and secure, this is nice and tight and secure. Uh, there's no way the dog can escape or get loose or go fight with your other dogs or whatever. Also, you're going to want to use a similar uh, setup on the tie-out spot, which for me is over this way. Um, mine's a little bit different, so I'm not going to get into that, but that's what you want to do here. Okay, lock tight, twist them down. Boom, that's not going anywhere. Will last for several years. Once in a while, you're going to want to come out and replace this stuff. It will wear down. These swivels will break, grind out, blah, blah, blah. But uh, there you go. There's your proper tie out method. And uh, back to the collar. Great collar. Well worth the money. Several years old. Uh, and I highly suggest it.
There you go. Bulldog Collar Supply Company review.